Yo, what's going on, Booyah Nation? What's up with the beautiful family? Welcome back. Hey, thanks for tuning in to another one of my FIFA 15 career modes with Spurs. And this is a big episode because today is the transfer window deadline day. We're going to spend this whole episode looking at some moves that we can make to improve our squad. Now, a lot of people in the comments down below said, hey, Skills, you know, Holt B isn't a permanent, a permanent deal. It's only a loan deal. So... Hope be left in real life on loan, which means I'm not looking to sell him in this series even more now because he still belongs to Spurs. The only difference is on in the game, we're going to make him be one of the best players. We ain't loaning him out. So after looking at my team, I decided I don't really need a left back. There's not really anything I really need. I could probably use another young cam you know, just because I like rotating through cam so much, I could possibly use another left mid. Uh, because if Erickson goes down hurt, if Erickson goes down hurt, who do we have to play behind Erickson? We got a left mid right there, and we also have, that's it. We don't really have that many left mids, so looking at that, now I'm starting to make a decision that maybe we need to snatch up another left mid to play behind uh, Erickson in case he goes down, because at right mid, we have Lennon. Oh, wait, we have another left mid right here. So we do have a couple left mids, but we can look at another left lit mid to bring in. We can look at a cam. Anybody we can get on loan could possibly help this team a lot. But personally, I think all like rounded, like all the way around, we have a pretty solid team, and I'm ready to take on the BPL with this team. The only thing is I got to make sure I put out my best lineup every week. Otherwise... Otherwise, I'm in trouble, boys. I don't know if you guys missed the last episode, but you, if you did, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below where you can check out what happened in the last episode. And also, while you're down there, if you want ultimate team coins for foot, make sure to check out the description down below, footcoinking.com, and use the code AA9 for a 5% discount. Now, with that being said, uh, as I was saying, as long as I put out the right lineup, I could win games. And if I continue to mess up and not put out the right lineup, then I'm going to lose a lot of games. If you watched the last episode against Liverpool, I put out the wrong lineup. But with that being said, I'm going to go check out a midfielder that goes by the name of Rafina. 21 years old, plays for Barcelona. He's a guy I want to see if Barca will let come on loan for a season full loan. We have Hope B. We have Tyson. But it would be nice to have Rafina on loan from Barcelona, so I'm going to see what they say to that, see if they would take it on. Who do they have for midfielders? I don't really see nothing. I don't really see nothing. Quintero, that could be a nice move. Let's try to get him on loan. Let's see if we can get the young Colombian in. He has a lot of potential in real life, and we'll see if he has potential in career mode. Should I try to get John on loan? Ole John. They have a few left mids. They have Suleimani, they have John, and they have Gaidan. Maybe I should try to pull John on loan. Ole John could be a nice little move if we could snatch him up on loan. Let's see if, we're, if, if Benfica's interested in letting Ole John go on loan. Two young players that could come in and play for us. I'm also going to check out Chelsea because we know Chelsea has a stacked team and they have players that they don't use. So we might check them out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is the time going by so fast, baby? Damn, give me, give me, give me like room to make moves. Porto rejects that offer, okay. Um, and real quick, I also want to say this. Let me check out Arsenal real quick. Real quick, I want to say this. Thank you so much for the way you guys supported the last episode. You really dropped a bunch of thumbs up. That's why I gave you two career modes today. I truly appreciate that. And today, like I said, there's not going to be a game in this. It's just going to be us trying to make the right moves. I'm concentrating right now, man. I'm trying to find some good moves here. You think they let Ox come on loan? Do we need Ox? Yo, why not, man? Let's just see. Let's just see. Maybe they let the Ox come on loan. You never know, right? Is he a starter over there? Does he play? Who else do they have over here? Matic. They got Ramirez. They got a lot of CDMs. So I try to get Mikel on loan. They got Ramirez, Matic, and Mikel. I'm going to try it. Why not? Maybe getting a player like him wouldn't be that bad. Getting a CDM, it's not something that we needed, but it could be something that will definitely help our team, seeing that we're in the Europa League. And a lot of different competitions. Von Glinkel, I would love to get him on loan. I'm pretty sure he could play the cam position as well. So let's try to get Marco Von Glinkel over here, the 21 years old. The, the man that's 21 year old from, from, from uh, the Netherlands. And I already see one that we possibly could go for, Anderson. Why not? Maybe they'll let him come on loan. Like I said, this is nothing. This is no permanent deal. It's just a one-time thing. Come for the season. See if you can help us out. If you can't, get the hell out. <laughs> We'll think about buying you later. Right now, we're just trying to get people on loan. 
I don't know how to say this kid's name, but I know he's a fan favorite when it comes to YouTube and the Booyah Nation. I think it said, nah, I'm not going to say it because y'all are going to make fun of me. So I'm going to go for the young 19-year-old man because Ole Jean will help us big time on the wing and Rafina would help us big time in the middle. And that comes out to a total of, what's that, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95K. We can snatch up both of these players right now. I'm going to fast forward just a little bit more to see if any of those other deals went in. If not, then we might just get Ole Jean and Rafina. We get an offer for Hope B, but at this point, I'm rejecting the offer because if I was to lose him with this much time, I wouldn't be able to replace him. So I'm going to fast forward one more hour. If nothing goes through, we might be snatching up two young players right before the transfer window deadline. Here we go. Manchester United accept the offer for the young man. They say no to Van Glinkel. They say no to uh, Salaha, uh, Salaha. I think that's how it said. Salaha. Salaha? Salaha? Maybe? I don't know, man. I, I suck with names. They say no to Mikel. And the Hope B deal is not happening. So at this point, looking at what I'm seeing right now, we got the young 19-year-old from Manchester United. We have Ole Jean from Benfica, who's very young. And we have Rafinha. Now, if the Booyah Nation was sitting beside me right now, you would tell me to sign Rafinha. And you would tell me to sign the man from Manchester United. You guys wouldn't want Ole Jean here. I'm pretty damn sure of that. I'm pretty sure you guys would say, skills, don't go for Ole Jean. As a Benfica fan... I want to go for Ole Jean. But me thinking I know the Booyah Nation, I'm going to get the man from Manchester United on loan. That's going to be the move I make. So everything is getting rejected. With that being said, the first person we're going to get on loan is Rafinha from Real Madrid, which now, I mean, from Barcelona, excuse me. So a young man comes in, and with the rest of my money I have left, instead of going for Ole Jean, this is me showing dedication to the Booyah Nation. This is me showing that I think I know the Booyah Nation well. I'm 100% sure you guys would be like, oh, you only signed Ole Jean because of Benfica. So I'm going to sign the 19-year-old man from Manchester United. If you think this was the right idea, please smash a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. Excuse me. You will go over your maximum squad size. Is this real life? No. No, not like this, EA. I'm going to release somebody so I can sign this kid, yo. This is about to happen. I'm going to release somebody just so I can get a player on loan. You might be like, Skills, this is a new move. I know, it's a new move. But now I want to sign this youngster, man. So let me find somebody. Look at this really shitty guy right here. Can I release him? Yup, see you, homeboy. I just released him. I just released him so I could sign a young player. Can we accept this now? <laughs> it might be a new move, but I think it was the right move. And I think the Booyah Nation is going to be happy with this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not him. Yeah, there we go. Bam. Booyah Nation, did I make the right move? Let me know in the comments down below and smash a thumbs up if you think I made the right move. I can't sign Ole Jean, so I signed the man from Manchester United. Ah. Booyah Nation. The transfer window just got real. We made two great signings. What's the point of letting them go? We can sell them in the wintertime and we can get a couple months out of them and then sell him if he's performing well. But then we might get to the winter time and he might be performing bad. I guess that's a risk we're gonna have to take. Soldado's staying with us. With that being said, transfer window is closed. We made all the moves we could make. We brought in two young players. Now possibly, probably should have let Soldado leave, but he stays. Our team stays the same. If you think I did good in the transfer window deadline, they smash a big old thumbs up. I brought the youngster in from Manchester United instead of Ole Jean. Was that the right move? And also Rafinha looks like he's going to be a stud. 78 overall, Cam. Booyah Nation, hope you guys enjoyed. Up next, we have a cup game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like, subscribe, and high five me one more one time before I get out of here. I'll see you next time, baby.